Welcome to your scratch lesson for today. First, I'm going to show you what we're going to be doing. Okay, so today we're going to try and make this cat fly. So I'm going to show you what it looks like when we'll be finished. Okay. There he goes, flying over buildings and under clouds. Okay. So let's start with how we're going to sign in. What I'd like you to do is find your browser and type in scratch.mit.edu. And once you're there, click on the sign in button, type in your username, type in your password, and sign in. Once you're in your account, click on create. So wait for the project to load and we're in. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to add our flying cat sprite. So I'm going to delete the scratch cat, choose a sprite, and let me type in cat. Here's our flying cat. And here we go. Now I want our cat to be flying a little higher, so I'm going to move him up here. And maybe a little bit lower, leave some space for the clouds. The next thing I'm going to do is add a background. So click on choose a backdrop. And it will make sense to have a sky backdrop. So I'm going to choose this blue sky. Here we are. Okay. So now the trick to making the cat fly is we're not going to make the cat move. We're going to make the background move. Okay. And you'll see what I mean in a little while. So let's start by adding some buildings in the backdrop. Um, I'm going to click on choose a sprite. And this time I am going to search for a building. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now I'm going to add my building all the way here on the right. And I'm going to have the building move to the left. So it makes it appear as though my cat is flying. Okay. To do this, the first thing we'll need is an event. So I'm going to click on events and use the win flag clicked event. Okay. And now what we're going to do is have this building move to the left, go back to the right, start and move again. Okay. The first thing we need to know is tell this sprite where it will start from. To do this, I'm going to go into my motion blocks and scroll down and find my set X. Okay. So if you notice, right now my building is all the way here on the right and the value of my X, which tells me where the building is, says 191. So you'll want to look at your screen and find the X and put it in here. Set X to 191. The next thing I'm going to do is go to controls and add a forever loop. Okay. And what we want this building to do is to keep moving left. Okay. So I'm going to again set the position. This time I'm going to change X. And what this does is make the building move back 10 steps. Okay, you saw that happen. And what happened though, the building came all the way to the left and it stopped. So what we're gonna do is tell the building to move left a certain number of times and then go back to its starting position. I'm gonna do this by adding another control this is going to go inside my forever loop. Here we go. I'm going to say, let's say we repeat this 20 times. And we'll try it out and see if we need to change that. And then I'm going to take my set X and put it inside the forever loop. So what this means is that I will ask the, make the building go all the way to the right 
and then 20 times it moves to the left and it will go back to the right. Let's try this out. Okay, now you see the building comes halfway, a little more than halfway, and then it goes back. So I think I'm gonna change this number and I'm gonna try 40. Let's see, that works. It makes my building go all the way to the left and then a new building comes up. Another thing we're going to look at is, instead of having the same building, it would be more interesting if we had different buildings. And there's an easy way to do that. If you click on the building sprite and look at costumes, this building has different costumes. So what I'm going to do is go back to my code and go to looks. And every time the building goes back to the beginning, I am going to change its costume. So now we set the building to go to the right, move left 40 times, change costume and go back to the beginning. Let's see how that looks. There we go, we have our cat flying over the buildings. Okay, another thing that I thought would be interesting is to add some clouds. So let's see. We're going to do pretty much what we did with the building. I'm going to look for a cloud sprite. I like the look of this one. And this one, I'm going to move it all the way to the top and maybe a little bit out of the screen just so it looks like the clouds coming in. Okay. Now let's go to events. Use the same when flag clicked event. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is set the position. So you look at my cloud there, my X says two, five, two. Let's go to motion. And there we go, we have a set X to two, five, two. Um, I'm not putting it up here because I remember that I do need to put that inside a forever loop. So let's go back to control, find a forever loop. Right, let's add that here. The next thing we need to do is we're going to make the cloud go left a certain number of times. If you go back to your building, we did that 40 times, so I'm going to say the same thing. Go back to motion and make sure my cloud moves left. And we do that by changing X. Minus 10. This will make the cloud move left by 10 steps and it does that 40 times. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay. We have the cat flying over buildings and the cloud flying over the cloud cat. The last thing I'm going to do is add the next costume. We change the costume for the cloud as well. So then it looks like we have different clouds flying by. There we go. There's our scratch cat flying over buildings and under clouds. Okay. I think it would be fun for the cat to say something. So I'm going to add one last event, which says when fly clicked. looks we have our save block I'm going to say time to fly okay Let's see how that looks there we go and there you have it let's add a title here let's call it flying oh scratch cat okay Right, I hope you have fun with this exercise and let me know if you have any questions. Bye.